in the previous video, I asked you to expand x plus y to the power of 6. Alright? No. Let's go through it. What? If you didn't watch the videos before, you would need to watch them. And uh, here we're going to be using the formulas. This formula for the binomial expansion and this formula will be for calculating the coefficient of the xy product. So let's see now. As you know, this will be x to the 6. The next one will be x to the 5. The powers of x go down one at a time. x to the 4 x to the 3, x to the 2, x to the 1, x to the 0. Powers of y. y to the 0, y to the 1, y to the 2, y to the 3, y to the 4, y to the 5, y to the 6. They will all add so we'll have add plus 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 plus. Well, no, there will not no plus. There will be no plus for this last one. There's nothing else there for it to, to for it to add to. All right, NCR. Let's put in the C's. All right. No, there will be C in front of each one. C, 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 C. Well, there is a C here as well. N. C is 6. Um, N is 6. So it's 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 here, and 6. R. Whatever X is raised to, that is R. So this is 6C6, 6C5, 6C4. 6C3, 6C2, 6C1, 6C0. Right? Those are the powers of C. Now, what is 6C6? 6C6 is 1 because what you'd have is 6 factorial over 6 minus 1 minus 0. No. 6 cu is 6, right? This would be 0. 6 minus 0 factorial is 0, 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1. 6 factorial over 6 minus 0 factorial would be 6 over 6. 6 factorial over 6 factorial, I mean. So this would amount to just 1. So that's why you have the first item here. It's always 1. If it's 5, it would be 5C5, 4, it would be 4C4, and so on. What about 6Z0? Well, let, let's not come to this yet. The second one, what is this equal to? This will be 6C5 is 6 factorial over 6 minus 5 factorial, 5 factorial, which will be... 6 factorials is 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 6 minus 5 is going to be f um, 4, right? No, I mean 1, I mean 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 factorial times 5 factorial. But 5 factorial is the same as 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. So 5 and 5. These will, these will cancel. So this amounts to 6, all right? So this number here, 6C5, is going to be 6. So 6 will be here. What about this? 6C4. Now 6C4 is going to be this number. What will it be? 
it is 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 factorial 4 factorial which is 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 is 2 2 factorial 4 factorial so it's 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 2 by 1 times 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 but the 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 cancel itself 2 into 2 1 2 into 6 3 3 5 15 so what you'll have here is 15 so this is 15 all right now it's time to find this number what will it be it will be 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial 3 factorial which is 6 by 5 by 4 and so on and so forth over 6 minus 3 well let me put times 3 and it goes on 6 minus 3 factorial is 3 factorial which is 3 by 2 by 1 by 3 factorial again this one is 3 by 2 by 1 now this 3 by 2 by 1 will cancel the 3 by 2 by 1 here 2 into 2 1 2 into 4 2 3 into 3 1 3 into 6 2 we have 2, 5, 10, 10, 2 is 20. So this should be 20. So right there would be 20. So this would amount to 20. Now what is this number here? The yellow is a bit hard to see let me put it 20 in black what would be this number here 6c2 6c2 is 6 factorial over 6 minus 2 factorial 2 factorial which is 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 6 minus 2 is 4 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 times 2 factorial which is 2 by 1 now the 2 by 1 cancels 2 by 1. Alright. This one you don't have to worry about it. 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 6, 2. So what you have so far is 2, 5, 10. 10, 2 is 20. This is what? Let, let's do this I get mixed up here a bit let's do it again it's 6 factorial which is 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 6 minus 2 factorial which is 4 factorial which is 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 times 2 factorial which is 2 by 1 all right 2 by 1 cancels 2 by 1 good this one you don't have to worry about it anymore. 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 3, 1. Let's re rewrite this so far. Don't make it too crowded. It's 6 by 5 by 2. There's nothing more at the top. Look down the bottom. 4. Oh. Good. Only 4 is left here. So, you say 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2. 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 6, 3. 3, 5, 15. 15. So the number that should come here is 15 then. So this would be 15. This is 15 that would come here. Now, 6C1, what is that? Let's work it out and see. 6C1 is equal to 6 factorial over 6 minus 1 factorial 1 factorial which is 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 6 minus 1 is 5 so it's 5 factorial which is 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 times 1 factorial which is just 1 
Now the 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 cancels 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. Ah, it's just 6 over 1. So at 6 over 1, you get this as 6. So this number here is 6. 6 is 0. This will amount to 1. Because when you work it out, this would be 6 factorial over 6 minus 0 factorial. 0 factorial. This would be 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 over 6 minus 0 factorial is 6 factorial which is 6 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1 and the same thing up here cancel because 1 0 factorial would be 1 so 6 over 6 is just 1 so we wouldn't have to worry about writing this one here all right so there you go so x plus y to the sixth is x to the six y to the zero plus six x to the five y to the one plus fifteen x to the four y to the two plus twenty x cube y cube plus fifteen x square y to the four plus six x to the one y to the five plus x to the zero y to the six and then when you finally write it you can leave out those things that you, you can leave out those things that wouldn't really change the values if you left them out. So you could just write x to the 6, leave out the y to the 0, which is 1 plus 6 x to the 5 y. You don't have to write the 1 there. You know it's y to the 1. Plus 15 x to the 4th y squared plus 20 x cubed y cubed plus 15 x squared y to the 4th plus 6 x y to the 5 plus y to the 6 that is it x plus y to the power of 6 is this you of course using the binomial expansion formula good so that's it for that we'll continue looking at this in another video so i'll see you then